Oh. How confident? 100%. 100%. 100%. There's, yes. By 100%, I mean there's no way you could be wrong. There's right. no way we could be wrong. Absolutely true. Yeah, absolutely true. Absolutely yeah. true. Yes. No way you could be wrong 100%. There's no way we could be wrong. <laughs> Okay, we're good. So like anything that you find like personally motivating or like you've circled your life around or like you think is a philosophy other people should follow, those tend to be the most interesting conversations. If you want to talk about like the best Marvel movie that came out recently, <laughs> we could talk about that too. By the way, I'm Ty, so nice to meet Carla. you. Carla. Carla? I'm Francis. Francis, yeah. Carla and Francis? Yeah. Carla. It's with the C. With the C? <laughs> this guy's got eagle vision. Carla and Francis RF. I'm super careful with now. With the C. I S. France. You can spell it with. Okay, okay. I'm going to have to erase some of this stuff. Look at me. This is how prepared I am today. <laughs> Very rarely do I have extra markers ready to go. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, like I said, I have a five minute timer. Okay. Um, and I like to talk to people about things that they really believe strongly is true something they're confident about is there anything like that for you yes definitely. I think we believe in helping others yeah that and communication a, with everyone what you were just mentioning that's before. the only thing that helping what, others yes okay and as a fair warning regardless of whatever you guys told me I tend to like just gently challenge it anyway so there might okay. be some double advocate please, questions here please do that like why help people yes I'm just doing it to simulate conversation sure. anyway so like five minutes helping okay. people okay all right so um what do you mean by helping people or well, what you said initially is very good that no matter what people well, look like no matter what their background creeds right country right. language mm -hmm. we should all be willing to break down these barriers and talk to one another that's kind of what attracted me to what, <laughs> I what you said what in the beginning. What you said, yeah. How strongly do you believe that that's something that other people should do? Oh, with all my being. It, so, yeah. would you say then that you're Look like... Look I married. Oh, you guys are married! <laughs> I was just about to say, you got he's, he lets you sit down. That's a keeper. I wasn't going to throw it out there. <laughs> I'm wondering... Um, yeah, so it's just like, if would everyone you... would do that mm. and go outside their comfort zone... Just imagine how the world would be. It would just be like one big family yeah. instead of all these different barriers that yeah. we yeah. put on. Yeah. I'm yeah. wondering, um, so like from a scale from zero to 100%. Yes. And I'm just throwing this out. Like how confident are you that everybody should be out helping each other? How confident yeah. about others? We don't know. We hope. Hmm. That they would be better. Mm -hmm. But how confident are you that they would be better if they followed this philosophy? Oh. How confident? 100%. 100%. 100%. There's, yes. By 100%, I mean there's no way you could be wrong. There's right. no way we could be absolutely wrong. Absolutely true. Yeah, absolutely true. Yeah. Absolutely true. Can, yes. No way you could be wrong 100%. There's no way we could be wrong. Oh. Because we go by the principle, <laughs> not by the simple laws of the matter. Because laws keep changing. Mm -hmm. Principles do not change. Principles don't change? No. Give me an example of a principle. Okay, let change. me give you an example. Yes, please. Speed. Speed? When you drive around here, what speed do you take? Uh, I take I take different speeds as I go around that turn. Good. Yes. When you go to Richmond and mm -hmm. you're on 75, what speed do you drive? I, I, on camera, I feel <laughs> I probably shouldn't say this. You can drive up to 70. <laughs> legally. Legally. legally you Not in front 70. of me. <laughs> but, but here's my thing to you. Those are the laws. Mm -hmm. They have changed. Right. Depending on the circumstances. Yeah. But to take care of speed never changes. Because if you were to drive the same 70 year, you're going to have an accident. Right. Which will be pretty detrimental to mm -hmm. others. Mm -hmm. so on the highway, you can too, but the chances are less if you follow the laws. Mm. So laws keep changing, but the principle of speed never changes because you take conscientious effort to follow that. So the principle is I'm minding the speed that I'm going at in concert with the people that are going around me so I don't have a bad impact on them. Right. And the laws will change and that because the laws stay the same. here will say 25, somewhere else it'll say 70, some other place it'll say 55. Mm -hmm. Just just on that principle idea, before we get back to like the main topic, mm -hmm. there are people who get in car accidents still from going too fast. True. Is, is the principle, is that them breaking the principle or is that them having a different internalized So principle? now we are looking at imperfections of people. Mm. We're not looking into a principle of the matter. We are looking at imperfections of people. So the principle remains the same, principle but the people who apply it are different. 
Or like they're, they had a flat tire. And, uh, you know, like there's different things that happen. I get it. I think yeah. I get where you guys are coming yeah. from. I'm wondering though, at 100% confidence, this is going to sound weird, but do you guys have a way to recognize if you were wrong? That this may not actually be the best way? And that there might be a <laughs> yeah, completely look at the better world. way? <laughs> the world yeah. now is full of divisions and walls. So I would say the wall is an, the world is an example of why more people should help each other. Yeah. But I'm wondering, with the philosophy that you have that it's good to help other people, you're 100% sure that it's right. Yes. What would you recognize? Are you able to recognize anything yes. to lower you down on that confidence? No, because we see it on a regular basis. Is that your answer people, too, Carla? Yeah. With definitely. the people we react with and the people that we know from a variety of countries, no yeah. matter where they are from, mm. when they follow the same thing we do, mm -hmm. we've always had peace and harmony and complete complete what I would say is an absolute way of being friends mm. yeah. I want to throw something out yes if you're not able to recognize what it would look like if you were wrong mm. how can you be so confident that you're right because the only right thing that we have is the principles of the Bible oh the only we went to a completely different direction you got to have some sort of a guiding light that's kind of where our basis you. is starting from. Our base from. is always there. Okay, would and you our say example them, was the perfect The man, foundation Jesus. is the helping people. The yeah. foundation is the Bible. What yeah. did Jesus do? Okay, okay, okay. I'm catching up. I'm yeah. catching up. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> and it should it okay. should mold your life. If you're if you're gonna follow something, and and if you mold your life and you see the benefits from it, mm. then you want to keep doing it. Can I throw something out? Sure. Yeah, please do. Um, is it possible for different groups of people who don't have the Bible to still help each, help each other? Absolutely. Do you really need the Bible as your foundation then to help people? Well, it, you, you need can do it to have it? Some, sort of, some sort of solid background to follow it because we but are so But if the so background's imperfect. different, if yeah. that foundation's different for different people and they still help each other, is that really the foundation? Well, then it depends, right? I'll yeah. tell you, I'll give you a basic idea. In this country, you mm. have so many people who say they believe the Bible, mm -hmm. and yet there's so much of problems. Mm -hmm. Why? A lot of them call themselves Christians, mm -hmm. but yet they have so many differences when it comes to a falsehood of who they're going to follow. Mm. They, they, they look at men, and they have certain things about issues, about whatever it is, about nationalism, or mm. flag, or anything. They're always looking at going that direction rather than looking at the Bible where it talks about peace, talks about love, mm -hmm. talks about justice, unity. talks about unity, talks about mercy. All those qualities all thrown aside because you start believing in this fundamental oh, idea. If you want to go, that's totally fine. I, I guess I can wrap up then. Yeah. Um, so, so Carla and Francis, the principles that you, just as a quick summary, principles that you guys brought up was it's important to help each other. You guys are 100% confident that that is the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. You were, you, when I asked if you were able to recognize what it would take to change your mind, you didn't give, or you weren't able to recognize anything? Is that, would you say that's a fair statement? There's nothing that you can recognize that would change your mind. About what we, uh, what we No, it at least inform you that you might be incorrect. Oh, that we might be incorrect. No, we are, we are we're totally. You're absolutely confident. We are absolutely mm -hmm. confident. Do you think that I'll leave them this last question? Yeah. Last question. Yeah, ma. Or are you talking to me? Oh, oh. Nikhi. 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 Oh, what? So can you speak, man? Oh, sure. Doya. Huh? Doya. Well, then, panyo. Okay. Okay. So, um, what I guess was, is someone is very confident that they're right but don't have a way to recognize that they're wrong. Is their confidence in being right justified? Very good, very mm -hmm. good question. Now, when we speak about being right, we are talking about following the way of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So we are perfectly imperfect in what we do. So we are trying to reach a point where we can continuously follow his footsteps. Mm -hmm. And along the way, we are wrong mm -hmm. because we do mistakes we make mistakes we're always going to make mistakes but the important thing we do is do we get up and correct those mistakes okay so we can still do the right thing okay so when we look at the end of the line so you guys aren't saying you're perfect 
Oh, oh absolutely. But you have 100% confidence you can't be wrong. About the concept of what Jesus has said. So maybe like more, and I'm not putting words yeah. in your mouth, yes. but maybe like I'm 99.99999% practice <laughs> only in the fact that I'm an imperfect being. I'm as confident as I possibly can be. And, we, and we recognize that when we don't put our best foot forward and when we don't reach out, we see the end result isn't good. That seems like good evidence for you. So that helps me to be more confident that this is definitely the right direction. Okay, cool. Thank you guys so much. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey. How long have you been studying good. Chinese? Uh, so at my last job, everyone, we are the only American in the group. Everyone was Indian or right. Chinese. Right. And really? there was 44 people there. So like I had to learn some basic some stuff. Some Hindi. I'm kind of uh, Meridas is how I say my friend. So, uh, Meridas. Mea, Kaiseho Meridas. Kaiseho Meridas. Ah, Kaiseho Meridas. Kaiseho Meridas. Ah, very good. But your Chinese it. sounds like you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm better with Chinese. I'm better with Chinese. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys. Bye. Take care. Oh, thank you. Thank you.